Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use WeTransfer to send large files. So, before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you use WeTransfer here to actually send large files? Well, in this case, using WeTransfer is pretty easy. We just need to access the actual platform. In this case, go ahead and open up any browser that you have right now, and you want to go to their official website, which is going to be wetransfer.com. Now, in their website, as you can see, this is what's going to look like, but depending on your uh, current, or in this case, depending on when you access it, the look might be different for you, but these steps are going to be pretty much to be the same thing. So, first things first is we need to select our files. In this case, you can go ahead and click on the Add Files at the left side here. Let's go ahead and click on the plus button, and you want to go ahead and select all the video that you want to send. So, for example, I want to send this video here. This is a sample video. Let's go ahead and click on open. Now, from here, as you can see, it's going to say remaining here. So the gigabyte that is remaining for sending files. So currently, you can send up to two gigabyte of files here. So meaning you can send those uh, project files. So in this case, uh, it allows you to quickly send those files. So instead of signing up with other platforms like Google or even OneDrive, which in this case requires you to have an account, which in this case, uh, you should be able to rapidly or immediately send your files using WeTransfer without creating a new account. Now, in this case, the great thing about WeTransfer as well is you have the capability of adding more files. So let's, let's go ahead and include a file here again. And we want to go ahead and choose the other video and click on open. And from here, as you can see, we now have two videos. Now, if you want to remove that video to, uh, in this case, to prevent it being sent, you can go ahead and click on the X button here to remove it from your uh, queue. But in this case, once you've uploaded all the videos, we'll now need to provide some details. So first is going to be the email that we want to send this specific file to. Like for example, I'm going to send this to my other email and we want to go ahead and basically enter it in here. Now you also need to provide your email. So in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to basically enter our email. Let's go ahead and enter our email here. And from here, in this case, it's going to say pop in your email and we'll let you know if your files get downloaded. So whenever someone actually downloads your file, you'll have or you'll get a notice that your file, hey, your file was downloaded. So in this case, they already viewed it and you should be good. Now, in this case, uh, you also need to verify your email so they know actually it's really you that you that, that actually don't want to verify every time. So in this case, uh, every time you send a file, you need to do a very sh short verification. But if you don't want to do that every time, you need to create an account. But in this case, we are good for this one. So you now have to enter your title and you have your message. Now, also, you could also sell your files. You could even customize the background, even protect your transfer, or you also have the other options like uh, changing your price, appearance, password, and the expiry date for that specific file. So in this case, they could access the file that you'll be sending up to seven days. So after your seven days, the file will no longer be available. But in this case, let's go ahead and set this to three days. And you have two options here. So you have the send email transfer or get transfer link. So depending on what you or how you want to share this. So for example, I want to send an email here, but you could also use the transfer link here. So in this case, you'll be, you should be able to copy a link that you could send to your uh, friend or your or to the person that needs that file. And basically, uh, you should be able to download that file from that link that you'll be sharing. But again, we should uh, we are going to use the email transfer here. Let's go and click on transfer. And from here, it's going to say confirm your email. So in this case, we want to go ahead and open up our email here. Let's go, go ahead and pop up into our email here real quickly. And you should be able to see a verification code here. Let's go ahead and copy this one and basically paste it in here to verify that we are ready to transfer. And as you can see, it is now transferring. So this might take a while. So in this case, let's just wait for it to fully transfer and upload and wait for a bit. And as you can see right now, we have just successfully sent our transfer. In this case, let's go ahead and go to our other email here. And as you can see, we now receive the file from the following user. Let's go open it up. And from here, you could go ahead and click on get your files here. And from here, you should be able to see the download process here. So let's go ahead and click on accept all here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on agree. Now, if you want to read the terms first, go and do that. But as you can see, we now have our files. So let's just go and click on download to download our files. And our download has just now started. Now, in this case, that's how you start using WeTransfer here and you should be good. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.